Welcome to the InterVLAN configuration video. I'm your host here to show you how to route traffic between separate VLAN hosts to reduce network broadcast and increase security. Talk about a host of information. <laughs> Today, we'll be walking through how to configure inter-VLAN routing and associated DHCP settings using Cisco RV180 and RV180W routers. First, log into the router's web configuration utility. In the networking section, choose LAN and then VLAN membership. The VLAN membership page will open as shown here. Check the VLAN enable box and then click the add row button below. Once the new row appears, you will need to fill in the fields. First, enter a number in the VLAN ID field, which is the first column in the membership table. Make sure the number you assign is a unique ID that distinguishes one VLAN from another VLAN. In the description field, enter a short description or title for each VLAN. For example, you might list one as guest and another as administrator. After writing the description, make sure to check enabled in both the inter-VLAN routing and device management columns. Next, it's time to assign your VLAN ports using the drop-down menus. Choose Tagged when the port needs to connect to network devices that process traffic from multiple VLANs, such as switches or access points. Choose Untagged when the port needs to connect to end hosts that do not process network traffic, such as printers and workstations. Choose Excluded when you want to exclude a VLAN from the port. Once you've selected all port options, click Save and select multiple VLAN subnets from the LAN drop-down navigation. Check the box for the VLAN ID you wish to edit, then click the Edit box below. This will open a new window in the top two fields. Enter the VLAN subnet IP address and the subnet mask for the IP address. From the DHCP mode drop-down list, select None, DHCP Server, or DHCP Relay. If you wish to create a static DHCP, simply click the Configure Static DHCP button. When the Static DHCP window appears, click Add. Next, enter the device's IP address and MAC address in the fields provided and click Save to save the static DHCP settings. If you choose DHCP Server from the drop-down menu, you will first need to enter a domain name in the field provided. Next, input the desired starting IP address and ending IP address, followed by the primary and secondary DNS server IP addresses, if necessary. Finally, enter the number of hours for which the IP addresses will be leased to clients in the Lease Time field. If you choose DHCP Relay from the drop-down menu, enter the remote DHCP server IP address in the field provided, then click Enable for the DNS proxy. Click Save to save the multiple VLAN subnet settings you entered, or Cancel to discard the settings. Navigate to the VLAN membership page to view your DHCP lease clients. Congratulations! You've just created an inter-VLAN configuration on your RV180 or RV180W router. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.